Guys, I'm back again with another video. Okay, this time it's going to be my review on Catfish Season 7, Episode 20, Rachel and Vance. Okay. The episode begins with Neve has a co-host. I didn't catch the young lady's name, but Max is no longer on the show, so Neve is going to have different co-hosts. Anyway, they get, you know, an email from a young lady named Re well, um. A young lady named Samantha, like, wrote into the show for her sister, Rachel. And Rachel lives in, um, Iowa. Well, they both live in Iowa. So they contact Rachel, and they find out that Rachel started talking to this person named Vance when they were 12 years old. They've been talking for the past 11 years. Yes, guys, 11 years. So, you know, they've been talking, but... She noticed that whenever, you know, as they got older, she would say, well, let's video chat. Oh, my camera is not working. That's a red flag. You know, how you could have a cell phone, but you can't video chat. Some, something is wrong with that. And then he would, like, disappear for, like, months, and then he would text her. And he would be texting from like like he would always like change his number and um he would like change like different like facebooks and they have she has she 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 doesn't have any pictures of this person it's just all like on facebook so they flew out to iowa and they're talking to rachel and they find that rachel has three kids and she's like 22. So I don't know how old she was when she had the first child. Maybe a teenager they didn't really say. So she tells them, I don't have any pictures of this Vance. And they're like, you don't have any pictures of the old easy years? She's like, I don't have any pictures. Just, you know, all on Facebook. So they begin to do their detective work. And they said, you know, they said, like, send us all the information you have on this Vance. So they go on the, you know, his Facebook. And they see, like, family members. Like, somebody named like Robin and like another young lady. And they're like, well, this page looks legit. So then they type in um, like his like Vance, you know, they, they type in his name. And then like this long like rap sheet comes up for like different like offenses. And you see this picture and it says the person's name is Vance. So they were like, oh my goodness. That explains why for like three months, like she didn't hear from this person. He most likely he was in jail. So they go back to Rachel with this information and they're like, you know, we don't, it seems as if he was in jail. You know, maybe he's out of jail now, you know, we don't know, but this is, this seems like, you know, it's the person you're talking to. So Rachel was, you know, clearly upset. So then they call, this Vance person and because like whenever like she would offer to like she would offer to send Vance um plane fee because he lives in North Carolina like she offered to send him the plane fee but he was like I don't have no ID like all these um you know excuses so Neve was like so when they when Neve called Vance he answered and they're like well can you come down you know to Iowa and um they said i think that they would like um send him money and they and then well he's well he's like send the money to my friend and then i'll come so then me sent the money and then then he took me then vance text back he's like i got the money i'll be coming you know down to iowa Maybe he took the Greyhound bus. I don't know, guys. Because if you travel by plane, they ask you for ID, right? So I'm assuming he took Greyhound or... I don't know. So, a, they they put they put that they're going to meet up with this person the next day at a, you know, at a park. So, you know, the, the Uber pull, pulls up. And Vance gets up. It was him, guys. It was really him. He, he was in line about... He, he was who he said he was. 
So, you know, that was no fun. It's, it's more fun when the person is not who they say they are. So, you know, Rachel is nervous, you know, and, you know, she, you know, it's clearly him. So then she was like asking him, you know, the questions about, you know, have you been in jail? Was that you, you know, in the mugshot? He's like, no, the only thing I've had is a speeding ticket from Florida. Because at one point he was living in Florida. So then they drove to like, um, like a diner and neither and his co-host left Rachel and Vance to like, you know, have like a first date. Because this is the first time, you know, they you know, were meeting in person and they were talking. And they were in, you know, and um, Vance was like, yeah, you know, um, well, Rachel was like, well, can we like make this work? You know, we've known, you know, we've been talking, you know, all these years since we were kids. You know, we're, you know, we're, you know, grown ass people now. So they do the three. So then Rachel was like, well, I could probably take a trip with the kids down to North Carolina. He's like, you know, that, you know, sounds good. So then they do the three month update and Rachel is like, things like didn't work out with Vance. Uh, Vance asked her to send him money. Okay, guys? And, you know, it's, you know, it clearly didn't work out. But here's my thing. Vance is a punk, okay? Where do you get off? Okay, I understand you've been talking to each other since you were kids, and now you're grown people. You know, it's, you know, it'll be awkward to be talking you know, because, you know, it'll be awkward to talk, you know, because this is the first time that they met in person. You know, they used to, you know, speaking on the phone or through, you know, the Facebook. But where does he get off asking her for money? She has three kids to take care of. To, to take care of. So you're telling me she's going to take money out of her kids' mouth to send to you a grown-ass man 22? Because he's like 22 now. I don't understand it. You know, and maybe Vince is a liar. Maybe he has a girlfriend or something. Or maybe he's, it, well, it's clear he's broke. You know, it's it's clear he's broke because he, he said he was living with a friend. And I don't think, if he doesn't even have a job. He's like doing like all jobs, he said, from Craigslist and all this other bull crap. You know, so. It was kind of. It didn't have a happy ending, guys. You know, because as I said, they never met in person. You know, talking on the phone and meeting in person is two different things, guys. You know, they're trying to make something work, and it didn't work. And he's, he, he clearly has nothing. You know, he doesn't even have a steady job. You know, and he's way in another state. So, I did not like this catfish. Because I was hoping that it wasn't Vince. It's more fun when it's not the person, guys. It turned out to be him. So, I don't know, guys. That was the episode. Um, Vince turned out to be a real bum-ass dude. And um, I guess he wanted to um, use Rachel for money. But she was small, cause a lot of people wouldn't. A lot of people probably probably would have sent him the money, you know, whether they had kids or not, you know, which is stupid. You don't send no man no money. He could get off off his butt and get a steady job. Okay, <laughs> okay, guys, that's it. That's just my review. Um, if you saw the episode, comment down below. What did you think about Rachel and this person, Vance? Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to share this video, guys. Don't forget to hit the bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, guys. And I'll catch you. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.